Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to look at one of South Korea's worst serial killers, John Nam Gu. Born in 1967 in Incheon. John Nam Gu had a difficult upbringing, sexually molested by an older man at the age of 10, and ostracized by his fellow classmates. John confessed that his life had been twisted in a strange way. After graduating high school in 1988, John committed robbery and was sentenced to two and a half years in jail. He also held convictions for theft, nighttime breaking and entering, and sexual assault. By his last release from prison, he was unable to find a job or a partner and lived in poverty with his siblings and mother in Incheon. Motivated by hatred towards society, John Nam Gu first sexually assaulted and murdered two elementary school boys in 2004. In February 2004, his modus operandi became taking the subway line number two to southwestern Seoul, the poor part of Seoul, where he would take long walks at night around his target areas, including Gyeongchon Gu, Gwanak Gu, Dongjak Gu and Yong Di Yong Po Gu, committing a total of 34 attacks prior to his arrest. Then he would randomly break into homes, murder the occupants, commit rape upon his female victims, commit arson and burn blankets and clothes at the scenes of the crime so as to not leave a trace. He later confessed that he felt a sense of jubilation and euphoria after committing the crimes. Police were baffled and the South Korean media dubbed these the perfect crimes with a level of devilishness. Jong initially used a knife, but then began switching to blunt objects so as to avoid detection, using knives during his first seven murders. He also ran 10 kilometers every two days to develop physical strength and avoid being chased. Jong kept a scrapbook of newspaper articles reporting on his crimes. In total, Jong murdered 15 people and wounded 19 people, killing those who resisted his attempts at rape. He was only arrested on the 25th of April 2006, more than two years after he started his murderous spree when he attempted to kill his first male victim, who fought back with his father. Jong was bitter over his arrest, noting, I was just unlucky to get arrested. If I had not been caught, I would have killed more. Jong noted that he committed his murders as revenge against the rich and society, stating in his first trial, This tragedy would not have happened if the government and society had helped me. He told police that he wanted to kill every rich man because of his anger at not getting a job and a partner in life. However, none of his victims were rich, and all lived in a poorer part of southwestern Seoul. Indeed, he chose this part of Seoul, due to the absence of security and surveillance cameras, which were prevalent in the rich Gangnam area, and is native in Chon. During his trial, which commenced on the 31st of August 2006, Jung felt no sympathy for his victims, with prosecutors demanding the death penalty. Jung noted, I am not sure I feel sorry for the victims. I am proud of killing such a large number of people. Sentenced to death on the 21st of September 2006, Jung confessed that he was afraid to die. Jung spent the remainder of his life in the Seoul Detention House in Ulwang, Jongi province in South Seoul before committing suicide at the age of 40 on the 22nd of November 2009. He died after tying two plastic bags together and hanging himself with a makeshift rope, causing a lethal brain hemorrhage. South Korea has the highest suicide rate of all prisoners in OECD countries, with his suicide fostering criticism over the poor management of death row inmates in South Korea. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. 
Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, and be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.